Hello and welcome back to Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. My name is WWD Dadman, but you already know that. We're playing episode 72, The Grim Reaper Depot. 30 seconds to air. Shalom, I'm Donnie. How many people are praying today? Just me. One little player. Oh, well, why don't you enter your name? Why don't you enter your name? Why don't you? Well, why, why don't I? Why don't I? This is a good question. Why oh, don't I? On now, player one. All you have to do is type in your name. I'm still thinking about the question. Why don't I type in my Goodness, name? Goodness, mayhaps I should do this for you. Yep, I'm calling you late for dinner. Uh, actually, I would be well, early if I eat dinner Ten now. Happy trials. It's only 4 p.m. Six, five, Let's go to black. In order for some rides to work, you must consciously think that you are riding them. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I just defeated 43 senior citizens at Bingo. Bam! I'd say it was sad you're playing alone, but you already know that. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by the Grim Reaper Depot. Our prices are out of this netherworld. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. First on the docket, Repellent of the Gods. Because they wouldn't have survived his 40-day ride on the Ark anyway, which annoying pests might Noah have justified leaving behind? The two houseflies, the two worker bees, the two cockroaches, or the two mosquitoes? The mosquitoes. Mosquitoes can suck for up to 100 days. I'm thinking you might destroy that record. Ready for this? The average lifespan of a housefly is 15 to 30 days, meaning they'd have died anyway before the ship found dry land. Would have been nice if he could have also left behind the termites, intestinal tapeworms, and viral meningitis. Oh, uh, well. Open wide for everybody should have equal access to touch this. Based on the prominent symbol, which communist DJ would be best paired with MC Hammer to complete his next MC album? Sickle? DJ Handsaw, DJ All, DJ Sickle, or DJ Scythe? The hammer oh fuck, DJ Scythe would have been the wrong answer mechanism. of the game. MC Grim Reaper. DJ Sickle. Too legit to quit the fight for the redistribution of giant puffy pants. Next up, simply the best. What would make most deaf, most deaf? Being in the audience at an orchestra, standing right near a jet engine, standing right near a field artillery, or using an electric saw? Uh, field artillery. Artillery and gunshots at close range are the loudest things here. I have to say, I'm a bigger fan of most blind. That guy does a lot of stage diving or falling. I call this one, I want a president with a cape. Which member of the Justice League of America is most likely to become U.S. president without starting a wasn't really born in the country firestorm? Superman, Batman, Aquaman, or Wonder Woman? Batman. Superman is from another planet. Aquaman is from Atlantis. Wonder Woman is some kind of Amazonian goddess. But Batman was born in Gotham City, a fictional U.S. city. Although Batman's brutal vigilanteism may get him in trouble, or the fact that he's an aging bachelor who spends most of his time hanging out with a young boy. That probably, yeah. Take a stab at Battle Like a Rock Star, cuz it's another dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's. A famous World War II operation, or a popular energy drink. Okay. A World War II operation, press the number one. If it's an energy drink, press the number <coughs> two. I that know right, you'll be boosted with about three bucks. energy drinks. That went wrong, and you'll lose 300. And you've only got 30 seconds. Okay, let's move. Red Thunder, Overlord, Full Throttle, Battle Axe, Torch, Piranha, Amp. If 
your mission was Operation Mediocre, then mission accomplished. Personally, whenever I need a little extra boost of energy, I just took myself up to my car with some jumpers and rev it up to about 3,000 RPMs. Wakes me right up, and I still have a good 30% of each nipple left. I mean, I'd go for like. Let's say so long to round one. And you feel so pretty for someone so ugly. Oh, level up. Keep in Same mind, thing. All the prizes are doubled in round two. Okay, how about it? May I introduce Mob Mentality Lover's Touch. Based on his alleged Valentine's Day crime, which candy heart should Al Capone hand out? Hot as arson, gunning for your heart, rob my heart, or my love isn't counterfeit. Al Capone gunning? Al Capone was the main suspect of the St. Valentine's Day massacre, an event that left six of George Bugs Malone's men gunned down in a Chicago Northside warehouse. Ah, yes, candy hearts. The candy heart I gave to my last ex said, My heart has no restraining order. I think there's a good chance it'll work. I think you have a good chance of getting and sued. On its way, it just wasn't the right time. It's the oh, God. Don't tell anyone I did this, but I'm adding an extra thousand dollars to this one. It'll be our secret. Put these movie characters in order of who traveled the farthest in time to who traveled the least far in time. Bill and Ted, the crew from Hot Tub Time Machine, Marty McFly. Bill and Ted, Hot Tub Time Machine, Marty McFly. Marty McFly, Bill and Ted, Hot Tub Time Machine. Hot Tub Time Machine, Bill and Ted, Marty McFly. Or Bill and Ted, Marty McFly, crew from Hot Tub Time Machine. Most not excellent answer, dude. Bogus. <laughs> Correct answer, show yourself. Bill and Ted went all the way back to ancient Greece to pick up Socrates. McFly went back to cowboy times in the third movie. And the crew from Hot Tub Time Machine just went back to 1986. If I could go back in time, I'd remind myself to change into clean underwear today. Oh, I didn't shake it. Ew! Guess I'll marry eight. This one's called Sister Act. Remember Twisted Sister, the band of guys who dressed up in women's clothing no. and saying we're not going to take it, and then apparently... No, but I do remember Sister Act, the movie with uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Only a bunch of other songs, too. Well, which of these seven sisters would Dee Snyder of Twisted Sister not have to dress up in women's clothing to get into? Barnard College, Wellesley College, Vassar College, or Smith College? I haven't got the sliders. <laughs> The Seven Sisters are famous American private women's colleges. Of them, Vassar has accepted men since 1969, which means D. Snyder won't have to dress Lower up in 69. women's clothing to get into it. Although all students are required to wear heels at graduation. <laughs> Why not try the California Old Rush? What would most likely be the title of a new Beverly Hills 90210 if it took place before 1963? Los Angeles 90210, Beverly Hills, Territory of New Spain 9, or Rancho Rodeo de las Aguas 902? I haven't got the slightest! I didn't understand any of that and I knew it was wrong. I so wanted you to pick this one. Zone Improvement Plan Codes, or ZIP Codes, were created by the original U.S. Postmaster Robert Moon and made mandatory in 1963. You didn't have postal codes up until 63. Wait, um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me really quickly look something up. Um... Uh, um, uh, what's the f <laughs> I forgot the German word for zip code. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. Um, uh, oh, 
Oh, well. We actually were later than that. Huh. Zip codes were uh, introduced in 1966 in Austria. Okay, so up until the mid-60s, postco postal codes like that just didn't exist? How the fuck did you deliver mail? I'm looking forward to a version of the show set in the 1800s called Bunch of Hills Over There Not Too Far From The Ocean Over By Old Man Dingle's Farm. Hold me now, <coughs> let me go. How about triangles? Because it is a right triangle, which triangular corporate logo could have its area calculated by the Pythagorean theorem? Delta, Nabisco, AOL, or Sitco? I have no fucking clue. AOL? Goodbye. One right answer coming up. The Pythagorean theorem posits a ratio among the sides of a triangle I know. at a right or 90 degree angle, like the Nabisco logo. I have no idea what Nabisco it's even is. On the busted up triscuits in the bottom of the box. Mm. 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 No. I love you, Cookie. Welcome to the attack. Okay. When you see two clues that match, doesn't exist here. Okay, if that's how you want it, here's the clue. Say hello to my imaginary friend. I have an imaginary friend named Cookie Masterson too. Good luck. Ah uh, shh. Who? 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 Oh shit. Uh... Okay, I have no idea. That's the game! Wow, after an understated and moderate success like that, I always feel inspired to try something new and exciting. Who's up for roller bullfighting? You don't know Jack! Sorry, I didn't listen. Good job, everyone. Donnie, what are we doing? Hey, are you eagle to play another round? Not really. We're not leaving this house, mister, until you brush... <laughs> then again, we have one... Singular episode left of this game, so I'm gonna record that right now. And I'll see you for that next week. Till then, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And until next time, I'm Dolly Deadman. Bye.